Hello there, it's William here from Vuzik and I want to show how I have set up my Reaper DAW to, to go and have a, a very dark look and um, I also wanted to use the Imperial um, theme, theme, theme. <laughs> I don't know what's, what it's looking like this page but uh, this is the theme that I want to use I'm going to put a link on the description and uh, basically you just follow the instructions from the team uh, you need to, to know that uh, it requires a 10, 1080p monitor <coughs> So after I have installed the team, I can just go here on Teams, Imperial. I'm going to use the edited one that I, I created. But first let me show what, what I have changed. Then you can also check on the description of the video for a link uh, of the edited file. So this is the Imperial one running at full screen. I got my mixer also running at full screen. And uh, if I open the plugins, you can see that the the plugins background is still white, and uh, I don't want that. I want it to be black. <clears throat> and here on the top is also back uh, white the black background. It's actually a gray. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It's a gray looking black background, but very light gray. And uh, what I what I done, I edited the team file and I'm going to show how to uh, to apply the edited version and it looks like this but uh, to really make this work the way I wanted you also have to change the team on Windows and uh, you can use the penumbra team which is free but uh, I'm using the Ubuntu Dark which is a paid uh, team. I'm going to leave uh, the, a link for both of the teams. But I also the, edited a bit the Ubuntu Dark because it had uh, uh, orange uh, neon <laughs> color to some areas that I, I truly hated. So now with the proper team, you can, uh, you can see that it looks just great. The mixer looks good too. <coughs> And uh, let's say uh, if I add a plugin, it's going to also look the, the correct way. So, so how how did I do this? Okay, first let's go to the Imperial page and download it. So there is this download. Do you have at least one monitor with uh, 1080p? Yes. So it's going to download the team file then you you have to apply this this team I just click it on the file and it's going to, to apply right away because it's a Reaper team zip I just click it on it and it apply it but I have to edit it so I'm going to go on, on teams and you can see here they'll have the Imperial one oh, I added another one so I have to go to Show Reaper Research Path in Explorer Finder. So here it is. And Color Themes. And you can see here that I have the one that I just installed now. And I have the Edit one, which is open. Because all these files here are zip files. So if I rename to a zip file, I can actually open it up and see what's inside and edit any value that it needs to be edited. So I'm going to leave I'm going to leave an, uh, a link for this edited version if you want to use. Uh, what I, what I, I edited in here was actually just one file. So let me show which file was that. Uh, I don't remember the name. So let me search for date. Uh, I think that's the one. rtconfig.txt 
Yeah, I think that's the one, but you can just copy the whole folder if you want. So I'm going to leave a, a link for that. So that's going to fix the, the white um, background and also some other colors. I contacted the team, original team uh, uh, creator, but they haven't replied to me. It's been like two weeks already, so I don't know if, what's going on there. But uh, if, uh, if you download and place your, your files in here, you just double click and it's going to use that team instead. Then you, you can go to options, layouts, and also change. So I'm using the transport blackface and the others, I just changed the master mixer panel with a long throw, throw black, long throw black the mixer, the black face, and the track panel, I'm using the Swipers Delight. So you can choose choose other versions if you want, like the fader, but uh, the fader doesn't look very good in certain uh, track heights, so I'm uh, using the, the Swipers Delight instead in the layouts. So track panel, Swipers Delight looks much better in, in in most sizes, so that's the one I'm using because it should have the volume here, the panning, the track name, and it sure shows there. And um, <clears throat> you can show make it a bit. Let me check the layouts here again. Track panel, short track name. Yeah, so I can make it a, it a bit shorter if I want. Because I usually don't put long names on my tracks, just like bass, drum, and stuff like that. So, okay, now the themes. The theme is a bit more complicated, but it's still possible to do. So if you go to the here to on the penumbra link, I'm going to put in the description too. There's a very detailed instructions on how to to do that. You have to install the Ultra UX Team Patcher, then reboot. Uh, the new Explorer. I don't know if this is really required, but I, I have installed it. So you just install from this from this link, and then here's the recommended setting settings that. Uh, the guy tells you to use, which I use it. Uh, actually, no, I didn't use this one. I use gray here and enable glass on navigation bar. I use it, that too. Just the, those difference. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really required. I haven't tested, like, uh, uninstall it to the old new Explorer and see if it still works. And then copy the contents of the visual style to Windows Research Stems and then you put the the temp in that folder. So if you go here, I already have this here off, off with all my themes there. And uh, I created the, the Ubuntu Dark without the the orange color everywhere. I removed that, I just put like grayscale instead. If you want that theme, uh, you can re request uh, to me, this personally, you just go to the Vuzik site at the bottom, to the support area, and send me a message. But I include a receipt of the Ubuntu Dark purchase, so I can send you the edited file. Otherwise, I'm going to be pirating, pi pirating the file, and I don't want that. So you you have to purchase the Ubuntu Dark first. But uh, mostly, most cases, the penumbra is going to work and uh, it should, should be okay. So let me see where is my settings and then try the penumbra. That's the first one that I started using. <coughs> it's actually a very good shoe. Well, let me see, uh, here on Reaper. Yeah, it looks good too. I just like the Ubuntu Dark theme uh, roundness that it adds to some windows 
and uh, just my personal taste but this one looks great too so that's that's pretty much how I have set up my my teams on uh, on Reaper then uh, I'll, I'm going to do another video on on how I set up other things so I think that's it for this one yeah that's it for this one so thanks for watching